let us continue this intermission chapter of the game where we're supposed to go to that fucking shrine ass thing but we got two people we could hang out with with four up op five options now all the options are just people we can bond with anyway like for the actual helping out with the actual gameplay but who do I want to do that with? I feel like we should definitely go with Mitsuki. But then maybe Sora, because I think it's been a while since we chilled with Sora. Yeah, let's go with Sora. I just feel like if it should be Sora and Mitsuki. Mitsuki, because she has not been hung out with yet, I don't think. But possibly I did, I don't quite remember. No, I did once. Shit. I'll figure out who I want to. Oh, you're bringing your souvenirs already. Buying, sorry. I've got a lot of people to shop for, so I figured I'd start now. They've got a bunch of special items here. Deciding's going to be tough. I need to keep an eye on my budget, too. This is hard. Good luck. Better than picking... Well, panicking last minute, I guess. Maybe I should do the same. Honestly, you probably should. It's not a good idea to just wait until last minute to buy your souvenirs. Okay, why don't we look together? Let me know when you find something good. Right. I'll just buy a bag of chocolates. Go... Oh... Maybe get one of them shrine statues. Fox buns. Fox ornaments. Yep, as I suspected. Another red fox themed souvenirs. I think it's because of the Inari worship that used to be prevalent in the area. But there's so much cute stuff that I can't decide on what to buy. Maybe I should go... Well, maybe I should buy something for my parents as a reminder of home while they're overseas. I think Shiaki, Mai, and the rest of the Karate Club would be happy with some rice crackers. Well... I mean, why don't get them something more special than some crackers, damn it? I think I'll get these sweet buns for a Yumi. And my dad likes a locally brewed sake, but my allowance. She's stressing out over souvenirs. She's way too thoughtful sometimes. I don't know if you're gonna be allowed to buy sake anyway. And Sora's dad, hearing about him, brings back memories. Oh, that's right. You mentioned that, uh, not that. You mentioned there were a bunch of famous hot springs in Kyushu. Well, Kyushu. Did you not? Or did you go? Did my controller disconnect already? Yes, but when I went, it was mostly for training. The one I went to was more like a secret hot spring in the forest rather than a nice hotel like this. I, I see. Typical Sora, huh? It's been three months since you moved to Tokyo. Do you call home often? Yes, I try to home ho call home at least once a week. My dad, my master, usually sends me a bunch of letters. That's pretty... Why do they keep throwing words at me that even in all of my years of high school and English class, I have not seen once? Archaic? Considering that everyone has his iPhone at this point. Archaic! Archaic! That's it. Archaic. I needed more... Okay, I have not actually... I've heard the word archaic, and I know what archaic is, but I've never actually seen the word. Now I know. But I shouldn't be surprised that the master of the Ikushima style would hew to tradition. Yes, it's pretty typical of him. I don't think I can relate to him right now in my current state. Um, is that not good? Is that bad? What's wrong? Never mind, it's nothing. Just get a little nostalgic for a second. I think it's more homesick. Hey, why don't you send him a long... A letter along with a souvenir. Hey, that's a good idea. I have a lot of things I want to tell him about, like everyone in the karate club. That means I have to get something for him. I don't think you're going to be allowed to buy sake, so... Are we in the sake section? Ah, this fox cup. It's so cute. But if I buy all of these souvenirs, my allowance. Take your time and decide. If you need extra money, I got a part-time job. Maybe I'll just slide a little into the table. After much deliberation, Sora picked out a cup for her father. I then helped her pick out souvenirs for the others. And we grew stronger. Oh, level four. Awesome. Now. Who else do we want to chill with? <sighs> I'm gonna say Asuka is likely my better option for the time being. Because I know I do remember hanging out with Mitsuki now because we helped her with her papers. But what do you want? Well, I think the path leading up to the shrine for Inari is around here somewhere. The Turi. Let's go with Turi and stone steps along, it are very atmospheric. 
Maybe I'll take a walk since I'm here. Do I want to join her with the walk along the path? Yes, I do. That's a good idea. The weather's perfect for it. Might have a tag along here, Agi. Why not? Let's go. Hopefully. Maybe he gets a little bit of confession, because I know this chick likes him somewhat. It feels so nice to be surrounded by so much nature. You're right. You won't find anything like this in the city. I still can't believe there's a place like this so close to Tokyo. Just a little further in the view changes quite a bit. It might be the last remaining vestige of the original country with the old beliefs still in place. Since coming backing from America? I think that's a typo. Since coming backing from America? I think it's since coming back from America. This is the first time I truly feel like I've come back to Japan. But wow. Since coming backing. I think that's an actual typo. It's the first one I think I found. Alright, I keep forgetting you lived overseas for a while. How long were you there? Let's see. My family moved to the States just after elementary school. It's so five or six years total. I was in high school over there until the beginning of the year. I see. That explains why you're so good with languages. What was it like living overseas? My parents work abroad all the time, but I couldn't ma imagine what it's like myself. Well, the most obvious thing is that everything is different from Japan. Language, culture, history, societal expectations, way of living. Many people believe in the concept of freedom. Everyone has a dream, and only the best rise to the top. Compared to Japan, it has was a weird combination of more forgiving and terrifyingly uncompromising. Really? Hearing from someone who has seen it firsthand gives it all more weight. And you moved over there while you were still in elementary school? If I were you, I would have been scared to death and begged my parents to go home. Yeah, I know what you mean. I was like that at first, too. But even during the, that time, there was something I wanted to do, and I was able to finally come home. And that's good enough for me right now. Awesome. Something I wanted to do. But for the reason she went to America in the first place, sounds like there was more behind it. Sorry. This really isn't the time to be talking about stuff like that. No, it's fine. But seriously, Hiragi, if something comes up in the future, don't hold back and keep it to yourself. It's kind of weird to bring up the past like this, but I'll find you, no matter what. Fukusaka, thank you. I'll hold you to that. Sure you will. That's what you like to hear. You accidentally make a statement, then you're held to it. Man, we sure talked a lot, didn't we? These stairs seem to go on forever. Let's keep walking for a bit longer. Yeah, but if you keep walking, you're gonna have to go back. It's just as Kurashiki said, but him being the way he is, it might just be what we need. Okay. You need a compassionate arse. Afterward, we continued to enjoy the uniquely Japanese view. Damn it, we didn't get you to four. Shit. How do we get Sora to four then? Is that, is that legit it? All I can do? That was all the bonding? There's no, like, secret bonding event? Suppose not. He's at the shrine anyway. Suppose there's no secret bonding event. Oh, okay. The annex is designed to speak as you would suspect. Kageyama and the rest of the spec are using this place for the time being. Well, good for them. Time to continue on with this story. Is there an item there? No? Well, that's just the path. The shrine's on the back side of the mountain. It doesn't look like it's this way. You should follow the Tori gates. Yes, we will do that all the way up to the shrine. Where Mr. Goru is. Wonder what he's doing hanging around there. You can just jump all the way up. Oh, lovely view, I will give it that. This would be awesome to see something like this in actual person. I have wanted to go to Japan for a long time. Just for shit like this, honestly. Mr. Goto! Hey, Tokusaka. What are you doing here, man? You came to check it out, too? Yeah, visiting historical landmarks is kind of a hobby for me. Sometimes I come across something interesting and unexpected. That's definitely a hobby. I suppose. Not a fun one, but... Just going to all historical landmarks. It'd be getting pretty boring after a while. The Inari Cult. 
So basically everyone worshipped the fox god, right? Exactly. Seems like it was a pretty big deal in the area. It wasn't too long ago that the Inari cult was not only prevalent in Morimiya, but throughout Kanto. Why are we in Kanto? Where's the Pokemans? That's actually pretty amazing. I'm gonna catch some Pokemon. Oh, that's right. I heard about what happened. Mr. Goru, you got caught up in it, right? Yeah, I can't believe the entire school was overcome by a gas leak. None of the unconscious students showed any signs of being injured. I hope Kedeshiki and Ibiki have recovered from all of that. Yeah, they're all good. I guess the memory wiping thing that they do really works. Well, I think I've seen enough for today. I think I'll head back to the hotel. I'll see you later. Later. Ooh. I have a feeling there's more to Mr. Goru than he's letting on. I don't think he'd be the White Shroud, but maybe he knows something about the White Shroud. I think he has something to do with the White Shroud. What was that just now? I'm just imagining things. It doesn't look like I can get inside. I should head back once I'm done here. I do have a feeling he has something to do with the White Shroud now. Because there's something more to him. I, I just have a gut feeling. There is something shining on the ground in front of the shrine. Oh, it was a bonding crystal. No way, was that... Maybe there really is a god here. I should probably should say hi. I turned and faced the shrine and went through the motions of praying. All because they gave me an affinity, like a stone to go chill with my buds. Oh, now... Oh, there's another bonding person. Ah... Uh... Mm -hmm. I use Takahata more, but I got a feeling I won't be using him soon. I don't know. Ooh, that was awesome. It was way bigger than the indoor bath. Rion, you're going a little overboard, don't you think? Well, it was a pretty relaxing bath. Hello, speaker. Yo, Kogayama. You again. We just met in the lobby. Uh, you go to the same school as Rion, right? Yeah, I'm Kuto Kasaka. You're Wakaba and Akira. Akira. Akira, sorry. From Spika, right? Ah, yes. Oh, you're Wakaba. I thought the other one was Wakaba. Whoops. So you're Akira. Nanase. I don't need your last name, but whatever. I'm Mokuba Yuzuki, one of Speaker's two new members. I'm the other newbie, Akira Nanase. Nice to meet you. I caught one of your concerts not too long ago. You rock it just as hard as the original three. No way, we're not nearly that. I think you're exaggerating more than a little. Your dance moves command attention, and I like how it's obvious that Wakaba is giving her all. Seriously, it was super impressive, but I suppose I shouldn't have expected less from you guys. What? Thank you. What's your problem with me right now? Well, I just feel like you're treating the others so differently. Oh, I see. Maybe you like younger girls. Hmm? Oh, yeah. You were pretty good, I guess. You stumbled a couple of times while singing, but being clumsy is part of your charm, I guess. You don't have to pay that much attention. Caught ya. They sure seem close, don't they? Yeah, what's up with them anyway? Hey, what's wrong? So, your manager's going to catch you out here. You'd better head back. My bad, my bad. Be right there. We're supposed to be having a meeting to discuss our upcoming concert. I see. Sorry for holding you up. No worries. See you later, you annoying little bitch. Whatever, though. If you'll excuse us. You two are fine. The other one, she's just annoying. I mean, I know that's how the character's written. But, man, concert planning, huh? Working through their vacation. That's probably why their performances are always so good. Because they don't stop. I should get going. I'm starting to get hungry. I should head to the second floor once I'm done looking around. Yeah, but we still got to hang out. With at least one person. That's another affinity thing, isn't it? Um...
Use it, you can experience Rion's friendship episode later. Then again, maybe not. You don't need an outsider in their midst, I should probably shouldn't bother her. Oh, but now I want to, but... I feel like it's more important to hang with people. We'll go with you. This is certainly a very beautiful indoor garden. I've heard it's the work for a long line of gardeners from Oromia. The scenery evokes a certain... I know this is just an overnight stay, but hope you can relax. She's right. It is nice here. Maybe we should stay for a while. I wonder what it meant by the friendship episode later. Or whatever. Would you like to join me, Mitsuki? It, uh, this looks like a good place to let our minds wander for a while. That sounds nice. Oh, and since you're here, why don't I buy some tea and sweets at the lounge? Oh, because we did eat, drink tea one time together. When we were doing all y'all paperwork. I, I don't like tea, though. I don't even like coffee. I'm a soda man. This is really relaxing. And these snacks are just sweet enough to complement the bitterness of the green tea. It's been a while since I've been able to sit back and unwind like this. Thanks for all your hard work. I guess. Mitsuki, I want to thank you again. We were only able to come on this trip because we managed to deal with that last incident. If it wasn't for your help, who knows how things would have turned out. I should be the one thanking you. It's thanks to all of you that we are able to minimize the casualties, despite how serious things were. Kiyoka was hesitant to join forces with you, but in the end, it was the right choice. Come to think of it, she didn't come to relax with you? Yes, I invited her to come, but she declined. After the incident, all of the different branches of the family began panicking over my marriage. She's trying to contain the madness, so it won't affect me. That bad? Um, Mikuriya, was it? He looked kind of too old for you. That's not too uncommon in my family. Certainly. There is no official heir for the Hakuto group's le leadership. Everyone in the family are jo jockeying for positions in anticipation of my grandfather's retirement. My arranged marriage was a small part of it all. The more I hear about it, the worse it seems to get. I wonder why they can't decide on an heir. I won't deny there are hardships, but overall I consider myself very fortunate. With my grandfather always so busy, Kyoka is pretty much always by my side supporting me. In fact, I'm not quite sure when she became part of my life. Sounds like she's your big sister. Hopefully, she'll be able to come with you the next time. I hope so, too. It probably won't be for a while, though. Because you're too busy. You're probably going to take over the Hokuto group anyway. I feel guilty about asking him for a favor right now. I really wanted to think things through. What's wrong? Never mind, it's nothing. Anyway, be sure to take the time to rest, Okasaka. Same to you. You have a favor to ask of me. Weird. We continue to chill out together, snacking and drinking tea. Yeah, I didn't get hurt at level 4 either. Oh well. So that's all the bonding I can do. So wanted me to go to the second floor to go have a snack? I think that's what it said. Maybe we're gonna do it. Oh, you're back, and you're talking to the teach. I wonder what I could buy from this. I do, I do. Just green tea, milk, and cider. <laughs> Lovely. I want like some more of those glorious EX and stuff like that that we used up. We're having dinner in the hall on the second floor. I still have some time left. Maybe I should just head there early. Be warned if proceeding to dinner hall, the second floor will advance the story. Please note that any unseen friendship episodes and sub events will disappear into the aether. I'll wander a little bit, I guess. But... I viewed everything I can, because I'm out of shards. And there's not much going on here. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just advance it. It's not a big deal. I just hate it when games do that, because you're like, Am I sure I did enough? Because you never know. After a while, the sky faded from a fiery orange hue into the darkness of dusk. Everyone met up in the second floor hall for dinner, including Mr. Goru, who was invited as well. There, we enjoyed an extravagant meal made from fresh ingredients gathered from the area. 
I do like extravagant meals. Oh, such a lovely looking place at night. Not gonna lie. But, I don't really, uh... Don't really know what we're eating yet. Looks like nothing. Us, this, uh, the meal's all done already and we're just having a chat. I don't know what's going on. Man, what a feast. Whew, I think I ate too much. It seems that they gave us extra servings since you guys are all students. Everything was so delicious. There were so many different dishes too. Yeah, that was a really good. Thanks for inviting me. You're welcome. I just thought it'd be a good idea for us to all eat together. So, what's the plan now? Come to think of it, we really didn't have any big plan, did we? I think I'll jump into one of the baths again. How do you guys have any energy? I'm already slipping into a food coma. Ugh. Food comas are the best. You sleep so well. Hey, why don't we go check out the gift shop? I peeked in a little earlier. They have so much cute stuff. Souvenir shopping. Count me in. I want to buy a few things for my family and friends. We already did that. All right, it's decided. Can you come? Yeah, let's... Sorry about intruding, but can I borrow Tokisaka and some of the others for a bit? There are a few community issues I'd like to discuss with you all. Ah, uh, we heard a little about it in the bands. I see, so that's why we're having this little gathering, right? Sorry, I'll catch up later. Go hang out with Toa. Okay, I'll let you know if I see anything good. Catch you later. There's still gonna be... A dungeon? Isn't there? Alright. This looks like a good time for a smoke break. Take your time. I still think there's something up with you. There's gotta be something up with you. It's gotta be. Okay, now we can talk freely. I think this will be the only time we have to go over any everything. Going to drop the bomb on a set of the blue, huh? Let me guess, this is about the thing you've been hinting at? The real purpose for this trip. We want to talk to you all formally, officially, about the eclipse, and about the future as well. I see. So this is where shit's gonna keep going again? Okay, we're all well fed now. Not with it. What in the hell is the eclipse? And what exactly are greed? Oh, that's the talk we're getting. So we're getting pretty serious talk in here. The Eclipse. They are related phenomenons that come or came into being after the Great War 70 years ago. Generally, an eclipse will appear as a labyrinth as it bleeds over into reality, but they quickly turned into urban legends, but sometimes they manifest as large-scale natural disasters affecting all of humanity. We don't have the first clue as to what causes any of it. There are a number of related mysteries that have yet to be solved. We do know the cor corrosion of the barrier between the eclipse and reality is happening worldwide. It's happening all over the world? No way in hell is what I want to say, but it's like something straight out of a novel. With the appearance of the eclipse came those who were able to sense its presence. The organization I belong to, Nemesis, and the group founded by the multinational conglomerate, conglomerate, I know that word is just fucked up, the Hakuto group, Zodiac. There are a number of different factions connected to the eclipse, each with their own agenda. But which you mean control of and use of the eclipse, right? <laughs> I'll get to all that along with an overview of the most recent incident. Anyway, let's talk about 2015. Since the start of the year, something unusual has been happening. Unusual. The number of eclipse incidents has skyrocketed. Nemesis was the first to notice what was going on. That's why I was recalled from my studies in America. Soon after, Zodiac began to take its own measures. I was put in charge of investigating the incidents happening in the immediate area. So that's why Hiragi came to Moromiya, and why Mitsuki is involved. But, but why are there so many Eclipse-related incidents lately? As of now, we have yet to find the cause of any of it. But the fact is that the frequency and severity of the incidents has escalated the past few months. Something you guys have all seen firsthand. 
And most recently, the Mist Incident. Essentially, a near disaster triggered by a Grim Green. At this rate, a full blown catastrophe is almost assured to occur. A catastrophe? So taking down the witch basically did F all then? So you're saying that wasn't the end of everything? Yes, on both counts, unfortunately. Well, the witch was definitely a powerful foe, it also only appeared within the past two weeks. Considering how many eclipse-related incidents there have been this year, the true culprit behind everything is still out there somewhere. She's right. And just in the past decade, we've already had one global catastrophe. And that, like the recent events, were not natural disasters. They're the result of the influence of a triple S tier threat, a mythological Grim Green. Mythological? If the witch was fairy tale level, then mythological tier would be. Whew, godlike. Hold up a sec. By global catastrophe, you mean what happened 10 years ago? No way. The Tokyo earthquake. Bingo! So that whole thing that destroyed all of what we loved was greed. I kind of figured, but it is still kind of awesome when you actually hear it. The catastrophe that happened a decade ago with Tokyo being in the epicenter. 20 plus thousand killed, 7,000 missing. A true disaster in every sense of the word. All of it caused by the grim greed I just mentioned. I figured from the start, but still. I only saw what happened by watching the news on TV. I remember something weird, weather and the sky turning red midday, like a sunset at dusk. Correct, because of that particular phenomenon, we refer to what happened by a different name. The Tokyo Twilight Disaster. Twilight Disaster? The disaster that hit a sunset. Well, at least the name fits. The Earthquake. It was connected to the eclipse. Some of the things I saw that day, all of the insanity back then. Who? No one who was in Tokyo at the time will ever forget what happened that day. The Japanese government put a lot of effort into covering up the truth of what happened then. But those of us in the underworld learned a number of lessons, which we continue to pass on. Which brings us, finally, to what we've called you here to talk about. We're gonna go after this guy or girl. Greed, right? Maybe they're genderless, but whatever. Yes, in regards to the Tokyo disaster, Twilight disaster 10 years ago, the same things that happened before that event are more or less happening now. Those things being an increase in eclipse related phenomenon. What the. You mean that. Fortunately, what we're facing right now is not nearly as bad as it was back then. But since we have no clue who or what is behind it all, <coughs> I'm not particularly optimistic about things. That is why we need to prepare. We cannot allow another Tokyo Twilight disaster to happen again. So we gonna try to stop it. To further that end, Hiragi and my division have been authorized to work together on this. So we've decided to set up an Eclipse response team based at Moromiya Academy. If that's response team? What is that? Moromiya Academy is the perfect place for a base of operations students with location in the city center. We'll have to start an after-school club as a front, but our focus will be on eclipse-related phenomenon. With Nemesis and Zodiac working closely together, we should be able to deal with things more quickly. I see. Sounds logical enough. So that's what you wanted to talk to us about. We're gonna be the response team. Yes. I would like to ask you all for your help, if possible. It'll be a pretty much the same as it is. No, we'll be asking far more of you from now on. You'd all be partners fighting alongside us. So it all finally comes out. We can do it. We can do it. We have no right to make demands of you or anything like that. Everything trod or tied to the eclipse happens in the underground and are matters of life and death. And to be blunt, I can't let civilians get involved with a clear conscience. Hiragi, you can give us your answers after the trip, but please take your time and really think things through. Well, I'm already telling you, we're in. I don't care. We're in. And with those last words, the meeting came to an end. Afterward, everyone spent the rest of the evening pondering everything that was said. But we're in. We're gonna do it. There's no way we're not. 
The Tokyo Twilight Disaster. She said, think about it. Seriously? Busting all that out now? We're gonna do it, though. Well, is there more hangout time now? Looks like Shiro and the others are just hanging out. Sora and the core crew are in the courtyard, thinking probably. For now, well, I should talk to everyone and see what their thoughts are. Okay, now it is just about talking to all the main people that are important. But, we'll save that for the next episode because, yeah, this intermission's taking a bit longer than I expected it to. But, we are getting a lot of information, It was, and it's not just useless. So, I do enjoy this. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, subscribe, tell me what you thought. See you in the next one. Take care until then, and bye-bye.